it doesn't take much of a drive to find yourself surrounded by acres of Minnesota farmland producing crops as that foundation of our state's agricultural economy. Experiences in the plant systems career pathway allow students to take elementary school science project knowledge to a place where a career can begin. The skills learned through supervised agricultural experiences in plant systems prepare students for careers on farms, in greenhouses, and much more. Hello Minnesota FFA, I'm Mark Jurek, Director of the Northern Crops Institute, where our mission is to grow markets for crops grown in Minnesota, Montana, North Dakota, and South Dakota. The foundation of agriculture continues to be in the crops that we grow. From feed, food, fuel, and fiber, our crops, forests, and the landscape around us continue to play a key role in our everyday lives. Careers in crop production, forestry, and plant sciences continue to help feed and power a growing and hungry world. People who understand and work with crops and plants have a wide variety of opportunities in front of them, from working in production agriculture to business to plant sciences. The basic understanding of crop and plant systems can help fuel a career that can help you take you back to your hometown or to the far corners of the earth. Estimates suggest that the world will have 9 billion people by the year 2050. Oftentimes this is referred to as either the 9 billion person question or the 9 billion person problem. For those of us in agriculture, we know that problems create challenges and challenges lead to opportunities. Agriculture is no stranger to challenges. Weather, economics, and now virtual conventions all produce challenges. But as we say in the FFA creed, I believe that American agriculture can and will hold true to the best traditions of our national life and that I can exert an influence in my home and community that will stand solid for that inspiring task. Congratulations to all our SAE winners as you find your part in that inspiring task. Professionals in plant system careers have built upon the abilities and perspectives gained through exploratory, research, placement, and entrepreneurship projects. These are all ways our FFA members have grown over the last year. Please help us celebrate our top plant system students and the AgriScience and Proficiency Award programs. AgriScience projects in the area of plant systems look at life cycles, classifications and growth, and cultural practices. They may study the effects of heavy metals on growth rates, compare genetically modified organisms and conventional seed under various conditions, or consider the effect of climate and soil condition on plant growth. Division 1 recognizes individual projects from grades 7 and 8. In 2020, our third place scientist is Grace Wynn from the Academy for Sciences and Agriculture, FFA. Noah Luthi from the Hancock FFA chapter is our second place participant and in first place from the Academy for Sciences and Agriculture, FFA is Alex Harstead. Alex's project studied plant growth Congratulations, Alex. Division three recognizes individual researchers in grades nine or 10. In third place is Liliana Wilhelmy. Second place is Holly Howard. And first place goes to George Sinander. All three researchers are from the Academy for Sciences and Agriculture. George's projects focus on the effort of wireless signals on plants. Way to go, George. Division five highlights the achievements of individuals in grades 11 and 12. We are proud to celebrate our state winner, Sarah Jepson from Kirkhoven Murdoch Sunberg FFA for her work studying hydroponic lettuce growth. Congratulations. Division six features teams of scientists in their junior and senior year as they work cooperatively to tackle agricultural questions. This year's first place finishers are Brody Forsell and Lauren Krieger from the Kirkhoven Murdoch Sunberg FFA. Their work comparing germination rates of treated and untreated sugar beet seed earned them the top spot. Congratulations! Plant Systems Proficiency Awards range from research to crop production to the application of plant science in front yards and golf courses. There's no community in which a plant system project doesn't bring agriculture to life. The AgriScience Research Plant Proficiency Area recognizes students for their research projects studying life cycles, functions, and practices of plant systems. This award area is sponsored by the Minnesota Soybean Council, and our 2020 finalists are Alexis Starnes from Red Rock Central, 
and Jaden Sundin from Rockford. The 2020 winner is Alexis Starnes from Red Rock Central FFA. Alexis researches effective methods to growing pumpkins without them popping or splitting open while in the field. She managed the plants and controlled pests such as cucumber beetles. Congratulations, Alexis. The Diversified Agricultural Production Proficiency Area recognizes students managing both livestock and crop production as part of their supervised agricultural experience. This award area is sponsored by Peterson Farms and our 2020 finalists are Cody Gifford from Russell Tyler Ruthen, Carter Jacks, Southland, and Daniel Williamson, Atwater Cosmos Grove City. And our state winner is Carter Jacks from Southland FFA. He works on a three-generation dairy farm, Jacks Dairy, with 3,100 dairy cows, replacement heifers, calves, and steers. He also runs approximately 3,500 acres of land to feed hay, corn, and silage. Congratulations, Carter. Students competing for the Land O'Lakes sponsored Diversified Crop Entrepreneurship Proficiency have established themselves as having multiple green thumbs by developing projects that they own that efficiently produce and market crops from two or more areas. Our top students are Caden Bizey from Tracy area, William Pell from Jackson County Central, and Hunter Wiltz from Kirk Hoven, Murdoch Sunberg. The 2020 winner is Caden Bizey. He rents land from his uncle that is designated as a test plot for Bayer Crop Sciences. He manages several acres of diversified corn and soybean varieties. Way to go, Caden! Diversified crop production placement allows students to earn recognition for their knowledge and contributions to the production of multiple crop areas without requiring ownership of the enterprise. This area is sponsored by the Minnesota Crop Improvement Association. Our state finalists are Cody Gifford, Russell Tyler Ruthen, Zach Niebuhr, United South Central, Benjamin Olander, Staples Motley. And the winner is Benjamin Olander of the Staples Motley FFA chapter. He assists his employer in tillage, planting, fertilization, and harvesting 325 acres of corn, soybean, and meadow farm. His main duty on the farm is tilling in the planting season and loading fertilizer into the planter. Congratulations, Ben! Diversified horticulture includes management and production of a combination of row crops, greenhouses, nurseries, and more. Sponsored by Compeer Financial Services, the finalists are Dalen Huber from United South Central and Will Stencil from Maple River. Congratulations to Will Stencil of Maple River FFA. Will has spent five years working with landscaping, planting, and maintenance. He has learned how to manage chemicals and pests, prune trees and large bushes, and work as a groundskeeper. Great job, Will. Fiber and oil crop production includes management and production of crops such as cotton, hemp, soybeans, sunflower, or even spearmint. Sponsored by the Minnesota Soybean Council, the finalists are Carter Hartz, Hills Beaver Creek, Carson Wagner, United South Central. Congratulations, Carson Wagner of the United South Central FFA. Carson helps his family farm 5,000 acres. He helps in the field, works on repairs in the shops, monitors the grain bins, and more. Great work, Carson! The students producing alfalfa, clover, corn, or grass silage are earning credibility within the area of forage production. This proficiency area is sponsored by Pioneer, and the finalists include Owen Ockrey from Howley FFA, Adam Skopansky from Sock Rapids Rice, and Grace Wotala from Holding Ford. And the 2020 winner is Owen Ockrey from Holly FFA. He bales over 130 acres of hay and self-sufficiently operates his own equipment and assets. He expands his operation by selling extra hay for profit and recently purchased a hay bind. Congratulations, Owen! The award for landscape management is sponsored by Agribank. These students plant and maintain plants and shrubs, participate landscaping, hardscaping, and outdoor beautification, install sprinklers, or provide lawn care services. This year's state finalists are Andrew Hagen from United South Central, Thor Kongsert of Deer River, and Adam Stencil of United South Central. Our state winner is Adam Stencil from United South Central. Adam started working on his grandma's farm and for a local landscaping business, Schrader Enterprises. He operates weed whackers, fixes landscape blocks, and operates company vehicles and equipment. Congratulations, Adam! 
Turf Grass Management is sponsored by Northland Ford Dealers and recognizes FFA members who plant and maintain turf, provide lawn mowing services that do not include installation or maintenance of additional landscaping, support sports field or golf course management, or Purdue sod for sale. 2020 state finalists include Colby Gunderson from Deer River, Jacob Price from Sleepy Eye, Darren Williamson from Atwater Cosmos Grove City. Our state winner is Colby Gunderson from Deer River. He bought his lawn care business from a senior FFA member. His initial purpose was a Danish Ignam zero turn lawnmower. And since then he has continued to expand his business. Great work, Colby. Congratulations to each of our winners. First place projects and applications will advance for judging at the national level this summer but every plant systems experience takes students one step forward towards successful lifestyles and careers. If you're interested in learning more about plant systems, talk to your agricultural teacher about how to start a supervised agricultural experience that fits in your community and prepares you for the bright future that you deserve.